Uh, the Tree Fruit Association is a voluntary nonprofit industry organization. Uh, in the tree fruit industry, we have lots of different organizations. Some of them, like the Washington Apple Commission, the Pear Bureau Northwest, the Fruit Commission, do marketing and promotions. We collect industry data and statistics and report it back to our members. So we do help with the crop forecasting and report out what's been actually shipped. Uh, then we do a lot of education and training uh, and advocacy for the industry in Olympia and in Washington, D.C. All right, well you mentioned you know crop harvest projections and that is why we're here today because unfortunately they don't look so good for the pear harvest this year. No, it's really bad news for the pear industry this year. We had some very cold weather uh, this last January that did a lot of damage to our pear crop, especially in the Wenatchee Valley up here in north central Washington. Uh, our total pear crop for the Pacific Northwest and most of the nation's pears are from Oregon and Washington. Washington is the number one pear producing state in the nation. Uh, our crop is forecast to be down about 30% from the five year average. Uh, so a lot fewer pears. And in the north central Washington region, it's down about 50%. So most of that loss was coming here in north central Washington, where we're, we're going to have about the smallest pear crop we've had in 40 years. Can you tell our viewers um, a little bit more about how cold weather can affect a pear crop? As you have buds developing, that really cold weather can do severe damage to them so that you don't have blossoms form. Uh, we also had a supplemental cold snap in April, which did further uh, damage to those forming fruit blitz. Uh, that meant that some of the fruit that did develop ended up having some cosmetic marking on it, some frost rings, which though the fruit is still perfectly edible, it doesn't look as attractive, and that meant that it it's not going to get the returns that our growers were hoping for. And in some cases, that means that it, some orchards were not worth harvesting because if you had a small crop of low, uh, you know, low value fruit essentially, because it is marked down by the consumer if it looks less attractive, meant that it may not have been economically worth harvesting. Taking into account the struggles of this year's harvest, what is next year looking like? We're hopeful that we'll get a little more stable weather and there will not be that same kind of damage. The initial, initial look at bud development is favorable. Looks like the 2025 crop could be good, uh, but that's still a struggle for a lot of growers. Uh, they have multiple fiscal years they're dealing with any given time because their fruit gets harvested and then sold over many months out of storage. Uh, and so a smaller crop, uh, even if they had some insurance payments, means they're not going to get the, the same kind of income they were hoping for uh, to prepare for next year. Uh, that kind of credit crunch on growers at a time when they're seeing their total cost of production rise very rapidly is a real struggle. So you mentioned like a financial cost and the effect that it can have on that. Is there any sort of financial assistance resource available to pear orchardists during this time? They can receive, if there was weather-related damage, crop insurance if they you know, had purchased the crop insurance uh, appropriately in advance, uh, but again, that's not the total income they were hoping for. Uh, you were really hoping after several struggling years to see higher returns, uh, and many of our growers are going to see some offsetting payments, but really not enough to cover all of the losses and to have enough capital uh, to go into the next year. Tell us, is there anything that Valley residents can do to help support pear orchardists during this time? They can eat pears. Uh, you know, with the smaller crop, growers who had a marketable crop are happy to see the prices going up a bit. Consumers should not be put off by that. They should still be buying Northwest pears.